Good afternoon, my name is Sergio Jimenez. Um, I'm a student at the United States Military Academy, and today I'm going to show you the mmult function. Okay, so first thing you need to know about the mmult function is that um, it's a matrix multiplication of two arrays. So what we have here first is um, array one and array two. And this is our approved solution. And this is a, a solution that we worked. And now we're going to create another so that you guys can see how to do the mmult function. All right. So before we start with the M, the function itself, we need to discuss um, the rules before using it. First of all, in matrix multiplication, when you're multiplying two matrices um, to, to execute this, you need to make sure that the number of columns in the first matrix equals the number of rows in the second one that you're going to multiply. So one thing is when you read a matrix you read it by row and then column okay so here there are two rows one two and three columns one two three in array one as you see pointed here array one equals a two by three now array two has three rows and six columns one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, which is noted here. Array two is a three by six. Now, when you multiply two matrices, the column of the first matrix matches with the column, oh, uh, with the row, excuse me, with the row of the second matrix and what you get as a product is a two by six or the, what people call you multiply the inners or you match up the inners and what is on the outside the two and the six is what the answer is and so that's the dimensions of the answer two by six two rows six columns okay so being that these are the proved solutions, let's see if we can get them. All right. So one thing to note first when you're doing the mmult function, you want to highlight the dimensions of your answer. So knowing that it's a 2 by 6, we highlight a 2 by 6 grid area. Now, you can get into the, the function itself. So you type in equals, and the function is mmult, which stands for matrix multiplication. And there it, prop, it prompts you for two arrays. Okay. So array one is our first matrix, comma. Array two is our second matrix, comma, close parentheses. Now this is what you do next will will either save you some time or um, cause you some problems. Okay, so when knowing that the mmult function is an array function, you have to so that the entire answer is displayed. Hit Control shift and then enter if you don't then what will be displayed is the answer for that particular row and column for instance I just hit enter and I get nine nine matches up with the approved solutions but that's not exactly what we wanted we wanted the entire array or the time or the entire area 
to be displayed. So to do that, again, we go in, we shade the area or highlight the area of the matrix, hit equals, and molt, parentheses, first array, comma, second array, parentheses, control, shift, and then enter. And now, what is displayed is the entire matrix. So, this concludes my presentation for the M-Mult function.